Asa, thank you for that live update. And now at noon, the sentencing trial of the Parkland shooter. And this morning's testimony focused on this altercation between Nicholas Cruz and a guard inside the jail. Today is day eight of the trial and the last day of testimony for the week. CBS 4's Nicole Lauren is live. And Nicole, the first witness was the guard involved in that altercation. Yeah, good afternoon, Maribel. That's exactly right. That altercation, like you mentioned before, was all captured on surveillance video inside the main jail. And it happened about nine months after the massacre at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Now, on top of that, the sergeant who testified said at one point, Cruz got a hold of his taser. He's going for it right there with his right hand. He also grabs with his left. You can see he's trying to press the button right there. He has the taser in his right hand. At this point, like, I have to get the taser back. Why? He could tase me, he can incapacitate me. And that was Sergeant Beltran of BSO, who you just heard from, and he says Cruz was dragging his slides on the ground and told the sergeant they were broken. That's when he told him to get a different pair. After that, Cruz gave him the middle finger and then charged at him. The two seen rolling around on the floor in a scuffle, and that's when Cruz grabs his taser. Now, the sergeant managed to get Cruz under control, and that's where he cuffed him, lying face down on the ground. Now, the next witness we heard from was Detective Forsberg with BSO, who located the shooter's cell phone and the the stairwell of the 1200 building, the phone held up in the quorum today, placed inside of an evidence bag. I was about the midway point of the hallway. I started calling that phone, trying to see if I could hear it anywhere in the hallway. Uh, I, I heard it faintly. Uh, it sounded like it was coming from the east location of the hallway. I continued calling it multiple times until I got to the east end of the hallway, and then I could hear that it sounded like it was coming from inside the sterile location on the first floor. Now, when they reconvene after their lunch break, shortly after 1230, we will likely hear what they extracted off of Cruz's cell phone and most likely going to see that cell phone video he recorded just days before the massacre that said he was going to be the next school shooter. We're live inside the Broward County Courthouse. Nicole Lauren, CBS 4 News. Nicole, thank you. And CBS News Miami has been streaming the proceedings unedited gavel to gavel all week. You can watch again today on CBS News Miami, on Pluto TV, CBSMiami.com, and the CBS News app.